Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to model a small stamp that we can print in our Formlabs printer with flexible resin. Remember that the maximum size is of 40 by 40, so I have here um, a circle of 40 millimeters of diameter and also I have my line work that is the DMAF logo. The first thing that I'm going to do is mirror my lines so the stamp is in the correct orientation. So I'm going to use the mirror command. Make sure you say copy no and choose the end on this side and the end of the bottom and voila. The second command that I'm going to use is called offset to create some shoulders. So I'm going to create a wider base to um, give my stamp greater stability and so the impression is clearer, okay? So I don't need too much, 0 0.6 is fine. And then I'm going to repeat that same command with the other letters. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna choose the inner lines and I'm going to move them up 1.4 millimeters. So use 1.4 and that's going to be the height of my stamp or at least of the letters of my logo. Now I have to create lines so I can use the command line to join the edges of these two lines. I'm going to repeat the same with all of my letters. Here um, I can see that I don't have anything inside that I can join to, so I'm going to use the command offset again, but smaller, uh, 0 0.4, to create that inner side. And then just some very simple curved lines. But this doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's just um, an edge, an offset edge that is going to help us to press when our stamp is ready to use. I'm going to use the command trim to get rid of the lines that I don't need. Now I'm going to join all my lines and I'm going to draw my lines from the top to the bottom offset line. Don't forget these two inner ones. Okay, now I'm ready to run my command sweep two. So I use the sweep two because I have two rails. Select first rail, select second rail, and then select the cross section curves. Oops, I'm missing one. Let me draw that quickly. Okay, there we go. Now we can run the command sweep two. Select first rail, top select second rail, my cross section curves. Make sure to tick close sweep. Yeah, that looks better, okay. And now I'm going to use the command cap to make it a solid. There we go. Then repeat the same with all of the other letters. And we're almost there. To avoid really sharp edges, I'm gonna use the command fillet edge and give it a radius of Something very small, 0 0.05 is fine. Select faced edges, so it's simpler and quicker. I'm gonna get closer so you see the result. Now when I run my command, I have a very small fillet edge. So still my shape is very accurate. Okay, now it's time for the circle. I'm going to do an extrusion of two millimeters for that backside of the stamp. 
We can see that all of them are closed poly surfaces. That's perfect. Now the last step is to Boolean union everything together so it's ready to 3D print. Run the command Boolean union, I select all of my shapes and now I have a closed solid poly surface. We are ready to export. We're going to choose a STL file because that's the one that we need to 3D print. I'm going to name it and my STL is ready. If you're in this step already, you can send this file to us.